little ghosts and wizards, as well as superheroes, Barbies, and much more. Busy getting ready right now, as Halloween is now just seven days away. News 19's Crystal Flintrup joins us now. And Crystal, what can trick-or-treaters do to stay safe out there this Halloween? Well, Dustin, there will be plenty of ghouls and goblins out, and I spoke with officials to learn all of the safety tips so people can have a spectacular Halloween. One of the most important things to remember for Halloween is to travel in groups, and you want to make sure that individuals are visible. This can be done by adding glow sticks to costumes or to candy buckets. Lieutenant Linnea Miller also suggests making sure that children are able to see properly if they're wearing face masks, and of course, people should be cautious while out at night. Those of you who are out and about on Halloween evening, um, the hours are typically from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. that the trick-or-treaters are going to be out there. Be very cautious, slow down a little bit, be observant, be looking around, um, be prepared to stop for crosswalks so kids can get across um, and, and be safe. And of course, what probably all of the kids care about is the candy. Miller says parents should go through candy and throw out anything that looks like it was opened or tampered with. And Dustin, it's suggested that those trick-or-treaters be limited to about two or three pieces of candy a day. <laughs> That's the suggestion, but it can be hard <laughs> to follow sometimes. Yes, right, it can thank be. Thank you, Crystal. And of course, for those staying home to hand out the candy, police say don't let anyone you don't know into your house.